Hello dear friends. Anaphylaxis is a medical emergency because it is a serious, potentially fatal, systemic allergic reaction. It is characterized by a variable combination of circulatory collapse, bronchospasm, laryngeal strider, angioedema, and urticaria. The risk of death is increased in patients with pre-existing asthma, particularly if this is poorly controlled, and in situations where treatment with adrenaline is delayed. In this video, we will talk about the key points in the management of anaphylaxis. Let's see these one by one. Number 1. Prevent further contact with the offending allergen. Removing contact with offending allergen prevents ongoing mast cell activation. Number 2. Ensure airway patency to prevent development of hypoxia. This is particularly important in patients who develop angioedema of face and those have laryngeal strider. These patients may need early endotracheal intubation. Number 3. Adrenaline. Cornerstone of the management of anaphylaxis is the prompt administration of adrenaline. 0.3 to 0.5 milliliters, 1 ratio 1000 solution, is injected intramuscularly in adults. It acts within minutes, increases blood pressure, and reverses bronchospasm. Repeat adrenaline injection at 5 to 10 minute intervals if initial response is inadequate. You may be asked, why adrenaline given via intramuscular route and why not intravenous? This is because of peripheral vasoconstriction in anaphylaxis. Furthermore, IV route may predispose patients to develop fatal tachyarrhythmias. Number 4. Administer antihistamines, like chlorpheniramine. As you know, there is release of inflammatory mediators, particularly histamine during anaphylaxis. Administration of 10 mg chlorpheniramine injection is given IM or slow IV, blocks the effect of histamine on target cells. Number 5. Administer glucocorticoids. Glucocorticoids, such as hydrocortisone, is given in a dose of 200 mg IV stat. Glucocorticoids reduces cytokine release and prevents rebound symptoms in severe cases. Number 6. Provide other supportive treatments, such as oxygen, IV fluids, nebs of adrenaline, and salbutamol. Oxygen administration will reverse hypoxia. IV fluids restores plasma volume. 3 mg adrenaline nebulization reduces airway edema. And, nebulized beta-2 agonists, for example, 5 mg salbutamol, reverses bronchospasm. Number 7. Specialist Assessment for Allergies. Individuals who have recovered from an anaphylactic event should be referred for specialist assessment. The aims are to identify the trigger, educate the patient regarding avoidance of these triggers, management of subsequent episodes, and to establish whether specific treatment, such as immunotherapy, is indicated. Number 8. MedicAlert Bracelet and Adrenaline Auto-Injector. If the trigger factor cannot be identified or avoided, recurrence is common. Patients who have previously experienced an anaphylactic event should be prescribed self-injectable adrenaline. They and their families or carers should be instructed in its use. The use of a medical alert will increase the likelihood of the injector being administered in an emergency. Number 9. Dietitian. There is an important role for a specialist dietitian when a food trigger is the suspected allergen. And, this is it for this video. Share your thoughts in the comments section. Dear friends, please help this channel grow by sharing with your colleagues and by subscribing it. Thank you.